Hey everyone, RoboDev here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to make a leaderboard in the top right so you can show things like cash, uh, gems, taps, and clicks, and all that. So this is commonly used in games like simulators or really anything that has uh, player stats. So I'm going to show you guys how to make it, and let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to your explorer, which is uh, under view, make sure you have it on. And then once you have your explorer, you want to go to server script service, click plus, and insert a script. Make sure it's not a local script or a module script, make sure it's a normal script. And then when you, uh, you can name the script something, I'm going to call it leader stats. And once you have this leader stats script made, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and create your first variable. This one's going to be uh, for the player service right here. So the player service, we're going to call it plrs equals game, colon get service, players. And then uh, we're using an event called player added. And basically it tells us when a player joins the game. So there you go. That's how you type it out. And we're just uh, going to get the player. And there we go. Now with this player, what we're uh, going to be doing is creating the leader stats folder. So right now we haven't actually done anything in the script really, but I'm going to show you guys how it works. So when you go to your player and you create a new folder, and you name the folder leader stats, exactly like that. And you insert an int value. As you can see, the value appears here. And when you name the value something like um, clicks, um, it should change over there. For some reason, it hasn't changed. But the value will also appear there. I'm actually going to do it on the server instead. So if I go here and I create a folder, we name that folder leader stats. And then inside this folder, we insert an int value. And then we name it clicks. We set the value to something random. As you can see, the player, uh, it's not really working here, but oh, well, that's because you're supposed to do it in the actual script. So I'm going to show you guys what that actually looks like. So we're going to be doing the stats folder. So local stats equals uh, instance dot new folder. And then we're doing stats dot name. So remember, this is the folder that I made. It's going to be named leader stats. It cannot be named anything else. It needs to be named exactly like this leader stats. Make sure it's a lowercase L as well. And then stats dot parent equals player now um let's do our first stat so local stat one instance dot new int value for a number stat one dot parent actually uh, real quick let's do a uh, stat one dot name first before the parent we are, we're supposed to set it last after we change all the properties so let's go ahead and do that stat one dot name equals let's do something like clicks and then stat one dot value let's do something like 16 so this is the starting value when the player joins the game and then stat one dot parent equals stats so it's inside the stats folder so basically 16 is a starting value this is usually just zero but for the purposes of the video it's gonna be 16 and now as you can see when we load into the game i have clicks and it's 16 so again i've already showed you guys, i've sh already uh, showed you guys this but inside the player you see the leader stats folder that the script made and then it also put the clicks inside so it's named clicks value 16 value can be anything else but yeah so if you do if you uh, guys want to learn how to save the data there's an i card in the top right and basically it's a video on how to save the data from this actual leaderboard so now i'm going to show you guys how to uh, make a different stat so we already done numbers if you want to do another uh, another stat for a number go ahead and change all of this to stat 2 and then change the name of it some like taps maybe and then maybe like 20 taps now I'm showing us how to do a uh, actual string value so letters so for example we can do something like in the value um, rank admin and make sure you change this to string value and if I hit play as you can see it's gonna say uh, rank admin it's up to, it gets cut off but yeah that's because it's too long and you really should not be storing strings in leader stats. I've never really seen that happen uh, and used properly, but yeah, it could be used for ranks. So this is basically how you make a leaderboard. And if you guys want to learn how to save the data, once again, the I card in the top right of the video. Um, yeah, other than that, guys, that's how you make a leaderboard in the top right of your game in a Roblox uh, studio game. But yeah, once again, other than, uh, other than that, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This video did help and uh, work in your game. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.